Good afternoon, everyone. Today we'll be reading our next story and tripping over the lunch lady. It's a little bit different type of story. Um, we have a guest reader today. But it is in comic form, so bear with me. We'll see how this goes. This is The Grade School Zone, written by James Proima, illustrated by David Fremont. Every day of my life is exactly the same. I'm talking exactly. That's right. You are about to enter a world of sights and sounds that you must keep repeating. You are about to enter the grade school zone. Every morning, my grandma sits in her chair and waits for the school bus. I'm upstairs getting ready. Wah! I can't find my other sock. Every day, just when I find my underwear, I hear her yell, The bus! Yipes. She says bussa instead of bus because she's from Italy. Grandma came from here. The map of Italy. She messes up other words every once in a while. It's fun. I can no find the my head. Where's the my head? She means hat, not head. Anyway, I always go running downstairs no matter what state I'm in. Make way! But when I get outside, I realize it's not my bus at all. It's the middle school kid's bus. Hey, Jim. Hey. So I go back upstairs, and just when I'm getting my pants on, she yells again. The bus! -ah! This time, it's the high school kid's bus. You don't have a shirt on, kid. I know. So I go back in, and then finish getting ready. And then she yells again. The bus! -ah! Are you sure? Yes, sir. You sure it's not the private school bus? It's a going away. Hurry. By the time I get down, it's too late. Why you no listen? Yep, that was my bus, all right. Vroom. My mom has to drive me to school. I would have cried when there was a no school. Oh, Grandma. The second part of my day has spent explaining to my teacher that I'm trying, that I'm not trying to be a wise guy. I have real questions, but Mrs. Quinkle thinks I'm just trying to be difficult. But how do we know we're made up of 98% water? We do. But what if I just, but what if I just had a glass and you hadn't drank anything in days? Stop being a Weisenheimer, Mr. Proima. Why isn't my theory on how the universe began just as valid as George Lemaitre? Because he was a genius. I could be one. Probably not. Why? How can I teach if you keep asking silly questions? If the Indians were here first, how could someone discover it? If you keep this up, you are going to be sent to the principal's office. But I go. Even even my time with Principal Barbo is the same every day. If you wouldn't ask your questions to annoy your teacher, you would not be here every day. I'm not trying to annoy anyone. Yes, you are. No, I'm not. Yes, you are. No, I'm not. Yes, you are. I am not. Ah, uh, ain't. Yes, you are. Yes, I am. No, you're not. I am. I said you're not, and that is final. Hee-hee. <laughs> Which brings me to the third and last part of my forever repeating day, the bus ride home. No eating, no drinking, no loud music, no fun, no throwing junk, no standing. Fall heck breaks loose. Uh, oh, sorry. I thought there was a little F there. It looked like a little F. All heck breaks loose on the bus ride home. Every posted rule is ignored. Tell you what everybody's doing. Surely we can all relate to one of these clowns. But I sleep like a baby. Zzz. Naturally, I always miss my stop and wake up at the bus yard. Huh? That's when the bus driver tells me a really long joke with a bad punchline. 
And then she said, would I, would I? To which he responds, peg leg, peg leg. I see. My dad shows up. If your head wasn't attached, you would lose that, I bet. And that's it. Until the next day, when I think I just woke up from a bad dream. Yesterday couldn't have actually happened. Until, babasa! And it starts all over again. Here's James Poimoaz's school report. I'm sure I read that wrong. I guess we could have guessed, we could have made an inference that his favorite class was going to be art. Worst smell at school? At my school, it was the canned stuff the janitor sprinkled on fresh puke. Ooh. Favorite cafeteria meal? I grew up in a half-Jewish, half-Italian neighborhood, so naturally the pizza bagels were top-notch. Meanest thing someone ever did to me. Invent math. Best prank ever played. I'm not a fan of pranks. Hate them. The best time in gym was when we filled everyone's gym shorts with shaving cream and... Just kidding. I hate pranks. Best field trip ever taken, the trip to the chocolate factory. Mm. Best memory, the only thing I've memorized from the school are my multiplication tables. No matter how hard I try, I can't get them out of my mind. And if you would like to read some more of James's work, we have The Mini Adventures of Johnny Mutton. And If I Were in Charge, the Rules Would Be Different. And Cowboy Boy. Lots of picture books for our young readers. And Dave Fremont. Remember, he was the illustrator of this little book here. So he likes creative writing and art. And, oh wow, he also went to the chocolate factory. I wonder if they grew up as friends. <laughs>